Hello YouTube, welcome to Mug Squad Squad Opening. In this video, I'm going to be opening up 10 packs on the online TCG. And this is the third video I'm doing in a series where I'm putting XY versus Sun and Moon. Um, I've done 10 packs each time, five of each set, starting with the base set of uh, the both XY and Sun and Moon, and then going through chronologically. So last time I did um, a flash fire versus Guardians Rising, and this time I'm doing the third sets, which are Furious Fists versus Burning Shadows. And hopefully by now I should have set up a um, playlist to this little series I'm doing. You should find that in the description of this video below. So Furious Fists versus Burning Shadows this time, bit of an odd uh, mix. We'll start off with the Furious Fists, and we'll see what give us what gives us the better pulls. And it starts off with a hollow there, a Furious Fist, hollow Noivan. And personally, there's no, um, there's no sort of, it's an easy win basically, um, in terms of what is the set I prefer. Um, Glacy on there, nice card. I don't mind Furious Fist, but Burn and Shadows I'm a huge fan of. I really do like Burn and Shadows. So, sort of hope that gives us the better balls in a way. We do have a rare reverso there of Bear Tick. And a Heracross EX. So, first ultra rare from Furious Fists, Heracross EX. Not bad at all. So, I mean, if we were going by points, that's a hollow, a rare reverso, and a ultra rare already. That would be like six points. So, Furious Fists could very much come through here. Never had much help. No, not help. Never had much luck from Furious Fist open actual packs before. Um, at all, actually. But seem to have fairly good luck on the online TCG with Furious Fists. And there's another EX in Halucha EX. So, hard to beat pulls, I would say, from Furious Fists. Out of those five packs, two EXs are hollow and... A rare reverse hollow. So five five packs and burning shadows here. Can we get anything better? Of course, it's not necessarily going by points. Just sort of what's what one gives us the better pull. So, um, I mean, a hyper rare Charizard. I'm sure would win, for example. But we do have a rare reverse hollow Porygon Z and a hollow Deancey to start off with. So a good start from burning shadows. And it looks like we have another rare reverse holo here in Torquemator. And a Guzma, full art trainer. Oh, wow, these pulls have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, oh, God, I think points-wise, four, five, six, I think there'll be seven points already from Burn Shadows. Actually, Burn Shadows might have won already. <laughs> I've already forgotten what... Oh no, I suppose there were two ultra rares on the from Furious Fist. Two EXs, wasn't it? A hollow and a rare reverse holo, so definitely good pulls all around. We have another rare reverse holo here and Raichu, that's normally a holo. And a Porygon Z, we had that in rare reverse holo and in holo form. Last Burn and Shadows pack here. If it was points, I'd have to work out exactly what gave us the better pulls because I'm I've lost count here in such good pulls ending on a rare of um non hollow rare but wow furious fists gave us heracross ex and halucha ex as well as a hollow and a rare reverse hollow so that would be nine points i believe and then uh burning shadows gave us guzma full art trainer four points um i think two different hollows should be a and then two reverse i think I think it works out as like 10 points. I think by points, Burn and Shadows would just win. I would give the edge to Burn and Shadows anyway for that full art uh, Guzma pull. Incredible pull there. Pretty much one of the best cards you can get out of Burn and Shadows. Definitely one of the most playable and full art trainers are awesome. And I'll certainly be using that full art uh, Guzma in all my decks now, replacing it with the regular Guzma or just adding it on. Amazing pull. So I'd give the edge to Burn and Shadows here. Definitely amazing pulls out of 10 packs there. Hope you're enjoying this little series if you've been following it. If not, make sure you check out that playlist 
and next time we'll be doing XY4 versus Sun and Moon 4, which will give us Phantom Forces versus Crimson Invasion. So check out the other videos and the links in the description of this video below. Subscribe, click that like, bu like button, and until next time, thanks very much for watching Squad Squad Openings.